Okay, after a long time, we have Octavi OS version 3.0 unofficially available for the Mi and Tool devices. It's not an official build, but yes, it's an official build. You can install it on your device if you want to install Android 12 based Octavi OS right now. I made a video already on Octavi OS first impressions based on Android 12 which is actually kind of really, really impressive. And yes, now we have available for the Mio tool devices, Redmi Note 9S, Pro, Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro. So if you are one of these devices users, you can definitely try out this build. What is the main thing about this build? This room also does not come with many kind of customizations for now, but yes, the features which you get here, the UI changes are actually quite impressive. For example, you can see Wi-Fi and mobile data have the separate tiles available for you, which is of course available in the edit option, but it's there and which is very, very useful. In my opinion, I'll definitely use that. Mic access, camera access, of course, very useful features in Android 12 already present here. So yes, no issues anywhere in these things. Now let's move on to the default things. First of all, the UI and smoothness, which matters a lot. The default launcher, as expectedly, it's Pixel Launcher. In Octavius Android 11 base builds, you get some Octavius launcher, their own launcher. But unfortunately, in Android 12 till now, we have the Pixel Launcher available for you. Pixel Launcher is a very, very interesting one launcher. But yes, it doesn't come with any kind of customizations for you. And in the terms of smoothness, speed, performance, it was expected that it should good. It should be good. It is actually good. It is very, very impressive. In the terms of other custom rooms or this customer performance, this is better. This is little bit better. Not actually the great ones out there, but it's good. It's good enough to use as your daily driver. Maybe yes. In the terms of camera section, the best part is that you get the Google Camera Go Edition pre-installed. This is not a snap camera, which is kind of really boring. And I don't think so many of the users use that, but snap camera is not there. It's Google Camera Go Edition, which you can give it a try. Also, one of the major things for some of the users, like what is the thing in the L1 certificate, if L1 is there or not. Yes, don't worry, L1 is there for you. This is not L3, this is L1. Maybe I flashed a firmware, I'm not sure, but yes, it's there if you are not getting that. What you can do is you can simply flash firmware, the latest Android 11 firmware for your device, and then you might get the L1 certificate for you. CPU throttling. Most of the most of the times or basically 90 out of 100 times in Cortana or Redmi Note 10 Pro, you don't get the CPU thermal throttling. And so as in this build too, no CPU thermal throttling detected and maximum performance going to 144, which is kind of OK. In Wave OS, you get 161, which is one of my favorite, one of the fastest ever customer, which I've ever tried, especially that's based on Android 11 with a very good UI. Also, safeness status matters a lot. I haven't rooted my device yet from Magisk, etc. So if you want to root, you can. But by default, its safeness status is passing. No issues in safeness status, which is very useful. If you want to use banking apps and etc., then you might not face any kind of issues in your device. So yes, give it a try if you want to. Settings. I don't think so need to show anything else, but settings has the same kind of options available for you. The UI is a little bit different compared to the other custom rooms in Octavius. You have the profile option, about phone and system at the top, other options at bottom. And of course, the left side icons are in the right side. In Octavius Android 11, you can customize these icons. You can change to cartoony or MIUI, but in Android 12, you can't, at least for now. But yes, in upcoming builds, you might get a lot of things, a lot of customizations we are expecting. Maybe this is at this as this is unofficial build so yes maybe there are features which you might not get an official version for example let me show you one thing here the thermal profiles i'm not sure if it is available in other devices or other official builds or not but this is what i got in mere tool device like redmi note 9 pro cortana including that i also saw that volume style is working perfectly fine in octavi os this is the pixel launcher you get pre-installed you can choose the themed icons app grid options are available but these are not the six into seven or more options which i made a video on that you can get all these options extra options on your device including that xiaomi parts is included which was which was not available in any other build so far wherever i've tried that this is unofficial build if you want to install this thing on a device you can i'll provide the link in the description to install this build installation is kind of same like other custom rooms so no complications there this is all thanks for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me i'll see you in the next video goodbye
feel like I'm floating through the air 